Good evening everyone. My name is Raj Sahu and I am the founder and CEO of teachonline.com. So we help institutes to become online tutoring brand. Our motto is like why have to be another tutor in good evening, Chishekola Linda, when you can be a next online tutoring brand. Right, so, uh, so when we spoke to a lot of trainers, these are the problems which we found. So number one, initial investment is going to be around six thousand dollars to fifteen thousand dollars. If you are going to build websites and mobile application for online uh, tutoring, just like Bajus, or like it is going to take at least four to six months time, and then you have to hire another agency to reach out to your audience for digital marketing and SEO and stuff. And then again, hence you have a website, Android application, iOS application. You need internal team to maintain whenever the new releases come. So expenditure would go here also. Then you think, let's go to Udemy or Teachable, but you find out that you can't have your own branding, and you wanna spend a lot of money in Udemy and Teachable because you have to share the revenue. All right. So at last, a trainer thinks that the whole idea of going online is crazy. It is not for me. So this is a solution. Teachonapp.com is basically a software as a solution uh, platform, software as a service platform to build your own website, Android application, and iOS application to teach and sell courses and test series online. All right, and it is plug and play, so you can do by your own. You don't need any technical hand in doing so. So uh, uh, the what 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 are the solutions which we are going to provide to customers? Are uh, number one. It, you can start just with $69, there is no upfront heavy investment. Second thing is that you can go live with web and mobile application within a week of time. So with the website you can go live in 5 minutes, with mobile application it will just take a week of time to go online. There is no internal team or vendor required for SEO, digital marketing and maintenance. So you don't have to pay any transaction cost or whatever the revenue you are earning, it would be yours. It is completely white label, so your end customers won't know that it is built on Tishana.com. So you are going to be brand in front of them. So at last, tutor said that yes, this is the solution which we are looking for. So common use cases, so we have figured out three use cases. Number one is educational institutions of any sort. Number two, any sort of enterprise to train their internal employees or to sell the know-how to other businesses or the public. Third is YouTubers and niche experts who are already working on one platform with their niche expertise but want to uh, supply premium content to their end users. So this is how the product actually looks like. All right, so you, we have agile panel through which we'll be maintaining and controlling everything. Then we have Android application, iOS application with the gamification, all right, and then the student panel web-based. So we figured out that India is still not completely mobile though. People would want to access the content through web-based uh, uh, web solutions or say uh, desktop-based or laptop-based solutions. So this is the business model. All right. So we have three subscription models. If you want to just start with the admin panel and website, you have to pay $69. If you want one application along with that, you got to pay $139. And if you 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 want to pay uh, you want to have all the premium features along with iOS and Android application, you are going to pay $209 per month. And on top of it, we are going to make money from each and every thing which customer is using from our platform, like email, SMS, or you know the payment gateway we are giving to them. So we will be earning money from there itself. And on top of it, whatever the referral which would be provided to other companies, we will be making money from that also. So this is the competitor analysis, you can have a look. Alright, so our price point is not very low, not very high. It is convenient to pay. At the same time, we are competing well with the market. Second thing is that wow factor which we have is gamification, and we provide native mobile applications which nobody does, completely white labeled, and we have communication channels. So the problem which we found talking to trainers is that, say for example, we build websites and mobile application, but how do we reach to audience? So if you, they are, again they if they want to reach out to their audience. Then they have to have another agency or they, they want to go to HubSpot or any other SEO and digital marketing platform. So we are providing them communication channels. They can take live classes, they can send SMS emails and you know they can chat with the students or target audience. So the last one. 
So this is the traction so far. We have got six applications already launched. We are SAP top 50 company, and we have awarded three thousand dollars of cloud credits from Google Cloud. This is the sales projection. So at, at best, we will be reaching out to one point seven million dollars in three years. With assuming that twenty percent churn rate and uh, in the first year, second year twelve percent. So uh, this is the opportunities. As per Google, you know there is like four x growth in education content consumption on YouTube. 3x searches in mobile devices, 2x in education, and the best thing is that it is coming out of the six metro cities in here. So, uh, recent funding to similar companies, Learnist India has got one million dollars seed round of funding. Odia has got around three million dollars seed round of funding in 2017. They have a similar model like us. So we we are seeking one million dollar uh, with like three months, uh, two 200k USD within three months, and 800k USD within eight months of time. So we are we are going to invest that particular thing in developing a very robust product. Twenty percent in selling and operations, thirty-five percent in marketing and promotions of our company, fifteen percent in contingency if anything changes. So this is a core team. We are our engineers. I am our sales guy here. Harish is CTO. He is a tech jerk, and Chintan basically takes care of all other stuff like operations and support. Yes, sir. This is it. So please, uh, if you guys have any questions, where are you guys? We are basically Bangalore. We are very Bangalore. And what is your strategy for getting the the trainers on board to your platform? Okay, so so this is the customer acquisition plan. So there are four uh, you know stages of reaching out to customer. First is awareness, and then interest, intent, and actual sales. So in awareness phase, what we are trying to do is we are we are asking people to opt in you know, over email list. We are writing blogs. We are writing you know stuff in Quora and QA sites. We are doing targeted social media and SEO and paid campaigns. So this will be the where we will be actually reaching out to our customers. They will be generating email. Oh, keep brief response so that we can take one question. Sure. <coughs> question. Uh, you sold other two competitors. That's right. And. Uh, You compared with them, like they are similar to them. That's right. What is their stage and what is your stage? How many customers they want to order initially, and what is their product? So, Learnist uh, is say for example three years old, uh, five years, four years old company. Like in four years, they have got one thirty customers. So, this is the market validation which you can see. This is the exact number of customers that Learnist has. All right, they have point six million dollar users. Their target market is just India. Odia, which I was talking about, they have. Uh, onboarded 11,000 uh, future. They got funded in 2017. Uh, user data they have not shown. The target audience is global. So these are two ways. You don't have any onboarding. We have onboarded six customers. They are paying on subscription model, and our product is not completely ready. So it's almost 80% done. 20% is remaining. It's not comparable. It's not substantial. Uh, So the model is similar. The, the our product is not completely automated right now. We want funding to be to you know get it completely automated right. So we are looking like in in a month of time would be completely automating it. We'll be finishing the product. In your presentation, one question which which arises in mind is a good product. Actually, you know, I know a couple of people who are looking for it. Thank you. It's right. difficult in building and passes as well. It has iOS and. Uh, And right, both the yes. platforms are uh, exposed. Question is, uh, as a startup, right? Uh, one thing which probably you need to be aware of, right? That how indefensible you are, how invincible you are. That's right. And tomorrow, six months down the line, somebody can build a similar platform and wipe you off, or pose your existence to be a threat. So, what what is that USP you have, right? Which uh, probably is not available. Okay. So the. the The USP which we have is gamification, which was praised by uh, Peter Vettermann, the <coughs> co-creator of Henry Birdy. What we are doing, what we are providing gamification on SaaS-based model, which nobody is doing in our competition as of now. So it helps you remember all the formulas, you know, to prepare for any sort of examinations. Great. So when you say gamification, so what do you provide motivation to the app users? Like for example, if I build an app. Right. The users will be benefited, or the exactly. guy who is putting on the app. Okay. Exactly. So the end users will be done. I'll give you a, a very simple example. All right. So for example, you are teaching uh, class six students mathematics. Mm -hmm. So you are gonna write like a plus b whole square how much. All right. 
So rather than you know simply writing it, you can ask, hey, uh, I'll just in, you will just import a question or right, an answer, and it, it would be in a format that he has to plug and play. It, all right. So a plus b whole square is equal to. So he has to get you know a square plus two ab or plus b square on top of it. So okay. it will help users basically. And you can see it's a better user experience. So That's right. Verification normally involves PDL, point yeah. badges, leadership board. Do you have that also? So we, we are planning to do that. Okay. But in initial phase, as we are, our target customer is very, really, uh, um, you know, like people who are probably preparing for examination, the coaching institution of those okay. sort. So we are just focusing to crack the first model and then probably on the later phase we'll be going there. Correct. Correct. So it's more like a better. Wow factor from a user experience. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, so in your two-sided market model, right? So you have to get tutors, and you also have to get learners, right? Right. So, so which are you putting the effort into now? Because it's a cart before the horse, or horse before the cart. It's a very tough story. To exactly. Do. Exactly. So um, we we are we are different in that sense. So I'll just show you that we are not going into that model. So if you see uh, uh, LinkedIn Learning, Teachable, Udemy, they all three have their student engagement and building marketplace. We don't have that, and we don't intend to build okay, it. So that's the that's the job of the future. Exactly. And, so and as that's for the infrastructure, you're exactly. providing. They're just providing the infrastructure. Okay, exactly. So what we have, what it's like, uh, one of our clients had around eight lakhs users of their application which teaches English. Recently, I was attending a session by Edupreneur Village. So the guy said that there is a very huge market in China just for spoken English. So the best features which we are providing on top of it is vernacular languages. So you can basically, if you see like, not all the people in India can you know browse through the content which is in English. And vernacular languages is open, you know just growing, so growing very fast. The whole. Uh, in, uh, they can speak like their language. Exactly. Gujarati, Marathi, Kannada, whatever the language you want to take. Okay. And why the price of uh, uh, 269 or whatever you have, right? Uh, 69. Uh, yeah. 69. Alright. Yeah. So 5,000 rupees. 5,000. Is that the idea? That's it. Okay. So what, what happens is, if, for example, I'm going to a tutor, which is, which is very small, probably, you know, he is a good teacher. But he has said 10 students coming up. So he can't pay more than 5,000 bucks to us. So the idea is to reach out to the you know, lowest possible customer segment. And, and if the premium, like recently we have sold two customers. So they all, they all are opting for ultimate plans who has at least 50 students on board. Because they want to go full fill. What's your <coughs> customer currently? Six. No, are they paying you monthly or annually? Monthly. Monthly. So they're trying to it out. Yeah, they are testing it out and uh, uh, when did you launch? We have not launched full filter so far, but it's just we are reaching out to customers and bringing but one six more. Six are to six to nine. Exactly. Uh, five thousand rupees. Uh, no, so uh, two have paid us two hundred nine dollars. Okay. One has paid us sixty nine and three has paid us one thirty nine in India because they want Android phone itself. They don't want to go with iOS. So uh, how many months since they got started? So it it. Uh, Two and a half months it has so been. So have paid you for three months? Three months. Well, one person has paid us for three months. We sent him on board too, so the rest of the people have for two months. And one we have recently on board, so he has just paid that much. So your annual package is not attractive. It, uh, so the thing is that when you so go to the market. So you have actually bought it, paying for it, and asking all the students to download it, but they still don't trust you. It's not the case. They are actually asking them. So the annual package pricing is not attractive enough for them to pay you off. Uh, I would not say that because India, in it? India, a lot of IT companies are there. They have tested a lot of IT companies. The trust factor is not there because each. So they don't trust you. They trust us. They don't trust others. Mm -hmm. You because it is a subscription model. They trust us because they can stop at any point of time. Well, IT companies say, I have worked with a mobile, mobile application company. You wanna build a value sort of solution? You wanna no, invest? No, no, IT companies. Why are they not signing up for any package? Just, I'm giving an example. So they have already bought their cash with other companies. So they would not trust any company, no matter how big that is. As this point of time, if you you know serve them well for three months, then definitely they would offer the bigger plans. So this can actually sell well for all those. Tutors and others who are right. Right. 
and role. What's your customer acquisition apart from your whatever online marketing you talked about? So we have not done any sort of marketing as of now. What we did is we figured out what, what are the top institutions in territory wise. Say in Bangalore, say 20, 25 people in IIT coaching and you know, sorry, uh, your uh, AIT MT sort of coaching or GMAT BRI coaching. We just called fixed meeting and went ahead to meet them to understand their pain point. And this is how they were onboarding. So we have not started a single sort of digital marketing so far. So it's like without zero marketing spend so far. And then what is your, um, so in, in the ticket size, right, out of $69 which you charge, right? right. Uh, so what is your profit in that? Okay. So initially we are thinking as once our product is ready, basically we can manage at least million, we can manage millions of users with just team of 20. So we, right now we are not making any sort of profit, all right? At, when so you are, scale, you are amortizing the cost of the software over, that's right, that's right. over how many so so years? How many, is, how many users should you have to get from, what is the breaking point from so, customer? Uh, even if you have 100 users right now, uh, sorry, 100 paying customers for, you know, say, $139, all right, we are ready. Oh, cool. Then why are you wanting money? So, uh, to stay fast, because we already have competition in the market. And we know that this is the right time to, to get into the market to you know make people aware about it. So we want you know that money to reach out to number of people. So your potential is new customers or the existing customers of our company in their country? We will target both. So right now what we are planning is we will be going to teach people and Udemy's customers, basically and bringing them in. <coughs> because they have already tested the online success and we are we are you know enabling them to uh, for more things paying less. So they would be our first target customers. So with your money going for marketing, basically, the product will be ready in a month's time, and a small portion of cost. So for the marketing money, so software and service products, a lot of plugins we have to develop, a lot of integrations to be done. So even your product is ready, if you are going to compete in market, the uh, ongoing development has to be there. All right. So down the line, say for example, anti unless your solution is very stable, and you know that this is the boundary on which on top of which we are not going to develop anything, then only it makes sense to stop it up. I think there are a few uh, test crops who might connect you off with. They were asking you about their numbers. It's an interesting one. Yeah, if you can be a little more clear on the pricing. pricing. Yeah. Yeah. You need to people. sign up more annual. Right. You know, and uh, that is a better model for you uh, business wise, right? right? Rather than monthly, because then they are committed. So That's right. Rather than you right. fixing the price, you should uh, just go around talk to every prop and say, what would it take you to be on my platform and use this? That's right. How much would you pay? Would you be comfortable paying? Yeah, so just to extend them better for you, you give huge discount, onboard huge customers, yes. test your product, then go to the funnel. Right. Right. Be better than talking that my price is less than competition or not. Instead of talking no, to 300 customers, 500 customers, give them discount, give them free. Okay. On board 500 customers and test your, that your product is absolutely perfect and fine, then right. people right. So it shows also the traction, but suddenly so you go in to say I have 500 customers. Yeah. Normally, you know, if you I have could, say, if five customers. You free for 100 p.m. Yeah, five yeah. yeah. customers. So yeah. 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 premium model. You give first few content free, then your people do something a little bit creative. Okay. And you say, uh, one question I have, if I have a YouTube which is free. Right. How different is it from your platform? So in YouTube, a lot of distractions are there. So for example, I'm searching through your country. Oh, they don't in the ads? Uh, no, no, distractions are there. So for example, I'm searching, I, I went to your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. All right, similarly, I would see a lot of other props. I might go and reload to them. You are just another tutor in YouTube. You don't have your brand. You can't control everything on YouTube. Sir. All right. So but you have your own channel, right? Here you can go. Or own, only owning a channel, or and only uh, your own mobile application is different, very different. So if you're owning your own mobile application, you would be in a position to you know control, to see the complete details of your user base. In you, with YouTube, you won't be able to. In here, you'll be able to control the advertisements which you want to show, see to them. If you can write on other apps, who would that? I'm sorry. If you can write on other apps with significant user base, who would that? Write on other apps. Yeah. No, not how to like like partner, piggyback on, or piggyback on. For example, just a you know, wild example. Okay. Uh, can you uh, write on Facebook, say, or some 
some some media which is already established has huge number of customers which is right on the way because peter has already created an amazing platform for developing games right now in education sector so our target is to get you know uh, those gamification people on board with us because this would really help us to increase the number of users at home. what is peter's role in your uh, in your start uh, right now we we uh, like he is guiding us on you know building applications right so we have three mentors is he your mentor right so we have he is your mentor you should mention that because he is the co-founder of angry board which is a huge team actually that's right you should mention that because that's selling point for you okay i'll do that so we have basically three mentors one is mr mukul agrawal so who is uh, founder of e tutor world so he's education yes. industry veteran yeah, He's right. also quite a big player. Yeah, he's a big player. Right. So he's Thai charter member. And second is Mr. Ravi Sau, who has who, who is the founder of History of. They recently got funded. Are they investing in you? All these three? Uh, no, we haven't asked uh, them for investment. That is no. We we are just seeking advice on building a robust. You know that is a risk if you refer mentors who are big names right. and say they are mentoring you, and if they are not investing in you. Then that's a big negative for me. So this is why so, I never mention their name. But did you ask? Did you ask? No, we we haven't so far. You should. I mean, probably you should ask. No, them. you should probably ask. Ask them. See, so that will also know whether how much of it. If they say no, you yes. better ask why. So be prepared more for yes, why. Yes, exactly. So that you have a better. There is a skill in the game, actually. Yeah, we we try to you know start conversation on that point. So Google uh, is like Google said specifically that that like. Complete the product. I am guiding you on the base of the customers and experience which I have. Complete the product. I will introduce to the more of more investors. So more, this is what his sentence was. And Peter has already formed recently one more company. So he is keen and completely focused on this company. Right. So it's okay. You can also so even joking money. The mentors are getting lot of negatives. Right. Yeah. So they are only there for your mental equity. Successfully they get equity. They are they are free of cost. They are not charging at all. At this point. At this point of time, at this point of time, they are not charging anything, not a single cent. So they are just excited to be us because they are seeing the potential. No, I think it also suggests that they are not still as excited. They don't find that. That's why I said they have to see. We want the 500 customers. The product is ready. You see, they will change. Yeah, they will change. Yeah, they will say that I am going to put a token money also. At that point, even if if say if you are reaching out to 500 customers, we don't need a token money. Then probably if I go there, I'm just giving you an example. Yeah. Oh, he has raised three billion dollars with four people, and they just an I conception. They were in conceptualization point. If we have say 50 odd customers, I'd go and raise two million dollars in higher valuations rather than taking zero on money. There is a venture capital who says this: if your mentor is not willing to put money, there is not a good mentor. Proof of the pudding is the pudding. They are baking and eating it. That depends on the mentor. That's not a good mentor. Either he doesn't have enough faith in you. That's more important. What you are saying, what you are saying, slime. It is not slime. You say only product will be ready in a month's time. This is not slime. Mentor is not saying this slime. It is significant. Okay. So yes. So what you are saying, 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 what you are So we we have all, all the customers they have onboarded is are basically dynamic players and they are reputed you know players. So Aspire Global Education is one of the GRE GMA training who has uh, in 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 based in Marathi. They have uh, trained so far eight uh, thousand uh, uh, students. So they trusted us, right? So similarly, all the people who who have onboarded with us are you know jamming uh, 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 YouTube, right? So on on top of this, like uh, on on. Customer onboarding side. Once we develop it, we need money to, you know, go and probably. Oh, I should go. Can we choose someone who has a 400 training center? Wow, awesome! Yeah, that would be awesome. Right. So let's break now. Thank you so much. Advice. Question is about for the next one. Uh, how many of you think it's a good idea? Please stay here. Just watch. Right. Thank how you very much. Do you think it's it's ridiculous you should do something else okay. you you got catch him and yeah, <laughs> not you or two of them the real of them and, and uh, how many of you would be happy to help him so no, just take your hands and uh, just keep your hands up let him just register your face so that he can follow with you on the books like
I think Shashi will also be looping you in, in case you need any help. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah.